Right, so as promised, here's the second part of some of my new technology roundup look. And of course, you can see my Rode GoPro completely virginal, unused microphone that I've just literally purchased and I'm getting ready to use for the first time ever. So I've been bought batteries and everything. See, there's a battery that you need. At least I hope that's the right kind of battery. One of these 9 volt things with the funny little tops that if you lick the tops, you'll get an electric shock. I know from past experience as a child, and I'm not uh, exactly keen to repeat that performance, but what the hell, for the, name, uh, for the purposes of comedy? Oh, yeah, that hurts. Alright, so we've got a guide in there. Positive and negative. Which one's which? There we go, positive and negative. Positive on the bottom, negative on the top. That sounds unusual. That almost sounds dirty. You can make your own mind up if it was or wasn't, but I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely hard to get that in. <clears throat> right. There we go, it's all be batteried. Let's just turn it on. It's obviously not connected to anything. And there we go, a green light. That seems to be doing nothing. That's off. We have a red light for all of a brief second, and then, hmm, maybe I should have read the instructions properly. Oh well, next thing you see will be my beautiful face, with this connected onto the camera here, uh, and me doing some sound tests. So, if you really, really hate my voice as it sounds right now, you might want to turn the volume down a bit. Or up if you really like it, if you're that way inclined, I suppose. Oh, and uh, for further fun and games, I am actually using one of the new batteries uh, in this camera. I had it fully charged last night. I decided just for shits and giggles to put it into the charger again just to see if it had kept its charge. And it's had the recharging light put back on. But when I put it back into the camera here, or put it into the camera for the first time ever, rather, um, it showed it was fully charged, so who knows. I've got the second battery busy charging away somewhere, so that'll be usable in the future. But uh, right now I'm testing everything I've got. So, I'll just uh, jump it. Three, two, one. Okay, so here we have a rare behind the scenes glimpse of my behind the scenes setup, if that makes any sense. Ignore the Coca Cola bottle, you can probably see just in the top left hand corner. That's not an advertising thing in any way, shape, or form. I'm not sponsored by Coca Cola. I just like to drink the stuff, so I had a bottle on hand. But there you can see my rig, my PC monitor, my main camera, the main beast of the operation itself, the light I'm using for the time being because my actual LED light is bust and some future projects over there. Here's the dodgy camera work and as you can see just as a sound comparison this is my original camera that I used for some of my initial uh, videos that I made. The sound quality isn't that good. This is a... Ooh, what is it? Uh, it's a Canon something or other. I forget what the actual thing is. It's the Can Canon Lagara HF or 506 he said turning the screen away from him so he couldn't say anything so if everything went hiddly piddly there it was because reasons ah uh, but yeah this is what i used originally this is what i'm using nowadays this i haven't plugged in just yet but the next piece of sound recording you'll see should have much better audio because it'll be directly through this and you'll hear my beautiful voice in a way you've never heard it before clearly much clearer than you would have he hear it on this thing and much clearer than you would on its own inbuilt mic on this thing and maybe I'll actually not stammer and stutter and mess up my lines a bit. Not that I've actually got lines, I'm just talking off the top of my head. Anywho, let's get back onto what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little sound test. So this is it as it normally sounds. Obviously you can see some of my surroundings. My terrible taste in wallpaper. Well, it's actually the previous occupants, but I'll talk about that some other time. Ah, uh, but this is my bearded face, my bald ing head, my eyes and my own nose and everything else I can see that you normally wouldn't see because I'm normally behind the camera. Anyhow, I'm going to end this recording and start up with a new recording in about 3, 2, 1. There, the microphone is now on. Now, I've not changed it from any standard settings. I'm holding the camera one-armed. This is my left arm doing all the holding at the moment. 
and my eyeball is now itchy. So this is me using the camera for the first time, with it turned on for the first time ever, uh, on normal settings. I've got no idea if it's actually working or not. It should do. Um, so let's just test what this is, I think. That's the power switch. That's the, yeah, that's the other setting. That's the lower decibel setting. I'll just move the camera out a bit more so you can see more of my face and that I don't end up terrifying you with my beard. Yes, I will get around to shaving it at some point, I suppose, but for the meantime, it's more important that I just keep talking mindlessly while I just try to fill up space. One thing I have noticed straight off is that the camera on its mount is actually shaking a bit. It's actually vibrating a bit, and that's probably because I've been holding this for roughly a minute and a bit now, and even though the camera's quite light, it's not exactly natural to hold your arm out uh, as I am uh, for this longer period. Uh, so let's just move things up a bit. That's at the 20 decibel. Now I'm quite softly spoken anyhow. From what I understand, this can increase the volume somewhat. The lower vo volume uh, setting, the minus 10 decibel setting, I assume, with somebody with my softly spoken voice is probably going to be quite faint. This, at the same loudness that I normally speak, is possibly going to sound normal level or possibly might even sound deafening. One thing I will state, and I'm looking at this direction for a reason, is because this is where my um, flip screen comes out. The actual cable that you attach, unfortunately, comes out just in front of it and in the little plastic covering that they have to protect uh, the unit. Otherwise, it does obscure the screen just a little bit, but not enough to make it unusable. And I'm <laughs> desperately trying to look at myself in the in that to just make sure I'm still lining this up properly. I should have really thought about this a bit more and just left it on the tripod and kneeled down in front of or something, but that'd probably end up with sore knees. Well, I think that's enough test footage for now, so I, if you're wearing headphones that have deafened you while it's on higher decibel settings, let's just turn it down to normal, I think. Um, no, that's something else altogether. Um, I can't get a firm grip on this. Is that normal? It's, no, hang on. I might have to look away for a second. Hang on. There we go. That's on normal settings. So I'll end things there. And this has been a very amateur production brought by somebody who doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Okay, so quick amendium here. I've obviously had a chance to listen to the footage now and play it back. And based on what I've heard so far, I kind of like it on the lower setting. Right now I've got it on the standard setting. So that's as you hear it now. I'll just switch it to... The lower decibel and I actually found that this gave the better sounding quality for myself maybe it's just because of the positioning on something like this maybe I need to experiment a bit more and do a follow-up review later on um, but so far I found that this particular setting seems to be a bit more usable for myself so what I'm gonna do I've got a couple of more projects in mind for a couple of different videos I want to do so I will do them with this on then edit those videos edit this video together see uh, what the results are and then do probably another follow-up so this hopefully will be the first review um, or the second review I forget where I am at this point in the editing process or the creative process that's not unusual to be honest uh, but then I'll have another follow-up review in situ afterwards so two more reviews to do I think yeah two more projects to do, do two more reviews and I'll experiment with the different settings on those videos as well. So, I'll see you next time. Okay, appendium to the appendium, because I forgot to mention this before. I did the classic thing of forgetting to turn the microphone off. Now, when I first thought about getting this, I did think, well, wouldn't it be easier to just take the battery out? And then, of course, then I bought the thing and found out firsthand just how awkward it is to actually take the cover off. But now I can quite easily see why it's so easy for people to uh, forget to turn the damn thing off. And forget to turn the thing on as well when they're the first start using it. It happens, it's a learning experience. Well, bye bye. How do you turn this thing off? Oh right, yeah.